Greetings to the viewers. Today's topic is nomenclature of heterocyclic compounds. Now let us see the definition of the heterocyclic compound. A heterocyclic compound is one that contains rings made up, in addition to carbon. One or more heterotoms like oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, phosphorus. Some of the examples of heterocyclic compounds are furin, thiophen, pyrrole, pyridine, pyrimidine. They are classified into two groups based on saturation. Number 1 Aliphatic heterocycles, which are fully saturated in nature. Examples are piperidine, oxyran, morpholine. The other is aromatic heterocycles, they are pyridine, thiophen, indole and so on. Now let us move to the nomenclature of non-fused heterocycles. There are three categories, prefix, stem, and suffix. Number 1 Prefix The word prefix indicates the type of heterotom, their numbers, and positions. The most common heterotoms are oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus. For oxygen the prefix is oxa. For nitrogen the prefix is oza. For sulfur the prefix is thia. For phosphorus the prefix is phosphor. When two or more heterotoms of same type are present the prefix D, three tetra are used. If the heterotoms are different, then order of priority is given based on the positions of the periodic table. The order of priority is as follows. Oxygen. Sulfur. Nitrogen. Phosphorus. Next is the stem. The stem determines the ring size from 3-membered to 10-membered ring. For this, a table must be memorized. If the ring size is 3 then IR is used. If the ring size is 4 then ET is used. If the ring size is 5 then ALL is used. If the ring size is 6 then IN is used. If the ring size is 7 then EP is used. If the ring size is 8 then OK is used. If the ring size is 9 then ON is used. If the ring size is 10 then EC is used. Remember this table it will be useful for you. The last one is suffix. It determines the state of saturation. Or unsaturation which depends upon the presence of bonds. For saturated compounds AN is used. For unsaturated compounds E or N is used. There are some rules to be followed while naming the heterocycles. They are rule number 1. If the last alphabet follows vowel sound, it must be removed. Rule number 2. We have to use the suffix iodine. Only for nitrogen containing. Fully saturated. With 3, 4 and 5 heterocyclic rings. Rule number 3. Use the suffix in. Only for nitrogen containing. Partially saturated with 4 and 5 heterocyclic rings. In the next video we can give name to the compounds. Thanks for watching.